Hey, what's up guys? I'm doing a uh, Dynamis deck for you guys. So, uh, I got 8th place at Locals uh, the day that game 1 went uh, out of the election duel went on. Um, so, yeah, I got 8th out of 18 people. Um, so, I got top 8. And uh, I'll show you guys my rounds I had. Um... It's more kind of rough. I went two and two, but I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that. Uh, probably not now. But I faced Trickstar Danger. I got two would by that. I faced Masters. I two won that. And he, uh, the guy even exit time like exit Tommy twice. Uh, one game one, and then one game three. Uh, as where he actually tongue night me, and yeah, I, I still won. Um, and then I had two blue eyes, and then uh, I faced Mech Knight and Vote, and the guy two owed me, so um, yeah, so that was basically the matchups. Um, the first and the last one were more kind of rough, the second and third. Uh, game was more kind of kind of easy, so. But um, yeah, so let's get into the deck profile. So, three play shows. Um, three Petran. Three Spinos. Three Rex. Two Inkos. Two Brachion and two Ceratops. Um, that's basically just a standard lineup. Um, most people usually just run one Ankylos, but I still like running two just because I mean, Alan is like a scale and then Helen for the monster, so yeah. But I'll quickly go through what they do. Um, he cuts down your punch attack, uh, one her for each Damas uh, card you control. Uh, and then he searches when you destroy a punch monster by bow. Uh, he faces your OTK. Um, we use your Tyrion Dynamis. Uh, attack directly. Tyrion another one. Attack twice. So, yeah. If you have number turn rule in your hand, which that is at two. So, um, so it's a lot more easier. So, yeah. And then Rex. Uh, I... I'm more using them for a beat stick. Um, so, yeah. And then Inkos, when he, when a diamond monster, including itself, destroys a punch monster by bow, it banishes that monster. So, it's really quite good. And then Brachion, he's basically more like a cyber dragon. Um, so, best way to explain him. And then Sir Tops, he's more like a Black Wing Bar of the Spear, or if you control another Dynamis, you can special summon him. So, yeah. So, and that's basically my Dynamis lineup. Now for the rest of the monsters. Uh, so, three effect pair. Um, works really well. Um, now, here's a card that I been wanting but I've never owned until uh, Friday night the night before um, the tournament that I went to to Ash yes I did pull my own Ash uh, from Shadows of Valhalla along with Cyber York Impact so yeah so like I said I pulled two of those and they came in really clutch for the tournament, so yeah. And then one trap here. Um, he's really good for if you get locked out with like anti spell or um, any floodgate and that hurts. Uh, you can just summon him and you know get rid of the uh, paw max card. So he's really good for that. And then for the spells, three diamonds charge. Um, 
just simple and to the point. Add a diamond monster from your deck to your hand. So, yeah. And then one powered. Uh, worked really well. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it, I, it was useful whenever I needed it. And that's the thing. And then two lemon roll is is that too? So yeah, that was that was kind of handy uh, to have. So two call by the grave. Um, again, they're a good card to have. And then one strong fourth. Um, so uh, I don't think I saw it. Maybe I saw it once, but that was basically it. So, um, but yeah. I definitely use it on more on doing Nexus, uh, or I, I see it more on doing Nexus than I do in real life, so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so for the traps, three Torrential Tribute, um, three Diamond Howling. This card came in so clutch, uh, during the tournament, um, it's not even funny. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, this card's so, so good. And then Diamond's Rush, I activated once during the Trick Shark matchup, but I got ashed. And then, uh, I think I activated one other time, but I forget what matchup it was first up against. Um, but yeah. So, that's pretty shit for the main deck. And this deck is already going to be changing after uh, this is one of my friends on Facebook. Uh, he sent me his deck list, and I actually like his version of the, de of the deck, which, um, which is really, really quite good, so, <clears throat> I will probably be doing an update when I get everything for that build, um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that as well, but, anyways, extra deck. Uh, three of my star boy, um, came in really clutch, uh, he is the only extra deck monster that I really summoned, but that's because I didn't have my full extra deck either, so, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks, <laughs> but he's the only one that I summoned, and I summoned him twice, or I had two on board, uh, to help you over something, so, um, yeah, so, really good. And then two K4 Genius. Uh, I more use him on, like I said, Doi Nexus. I made him once versus like in free play, but um, yeah, so. One Star Dragon. Um, just in case, I mean, against board wipes, it's really good, so yeah. Uh, Gaga Cowboy, Cowboy Frame. I mean, Shark Fortress. And then, Outer Entity, yeah, that, the last thing I'm not even going to try to pronounce. But, uh, I have two empty sleeves here. Uh, this is supposed to be, these two are supposed to be, uh, Nova and Finny. And then, the two others are supposed to be Bahamut Shark and Toad. Um, I do not have those, as you guys can see. Um, I used to have Nova and Finny, but I, I sold, I sold them because I, didn't think I would be playing in, but now I am, and, you know, kind of need them, so, <laughs> but, anyways, so that's basically it for the extra deck, um, now for my sideboard, um, two DD Crow, um, just helps against the Dark Road matchup, uh, Dark Road Dangers, um, which I never did face, but, you know, so they're just in case. Um, two Stego. Um, again, I sighted, I sighted him in, uh, but never saw him, so, yeah. And the screw mode, because of Goki's are still running around, but after the 200 for YCS, which I did watch most of that, uh, Sky Strikers are more of the better deck. But, um, Gokies are m being mixed now with, uh, Heroes, 
So, yeah. So, and then the Kaiju line. Um, for, because I did face blue eyes, so against Chaos Max, it was really, or I was hoping to, uh, to do something against that, which my opponent never did summon Chaos Max. Uh, at least not that I remember. And if he did, then I had Placios on the board to help cut his attack down, like, by a lot. So, yeah. And then, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, again, just to help get the Kaijus out faster. Uh, two minutes T. Uh, this will be swapped for something else once I, uh, get something else, uh, for it, like, quite heavy death storm or something like that, so. <coughs> and then, two red reboots. Um, never saw it, but, you know, so they were just in case, so, yeah. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty shit for the deck file. Um, now, now I'm going to show you guys a couple cards that I wish I had during the, uh, tournament, which probably would have, would have helped. So, one is Rescue Hamster. This card would have came in really quite handy. <coughs> Because I can add back my skills and then also uh, special some monsters from my extra deck, so it would have helped out a lot. Um, and then the other card that I'm getting is Magical Abductor, um, which will really go go in, go good in Dynamist. Um, but I'll explain to you guys why I run that when I do the update build. So, and then. For the other two cards, Chambara, uh, which would have helped with OTKing my opponent, and then Ignister Providence, uh, which would have helped with shuffling back uh, anything, so, yeah. So, that's those are the three cards I wish I had <coughs> in the tournament, but I did not, so. But, um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And stay tuned for those duels with this damage deck. Uh, because I will be playing the exact build. So stay tuned for those. Uh, thank you for watching. And I will catch you all in the duel videos. Alright, there you guys.